Psychic coming back at you again with another video. Man, I mean exactly what the title says. The Djokovic is a pain in the ass for both Federer and the Dow, but more in the Dow though. Okay, now somebody may say, well, imagine, man, the Djokovic, he beat Federer uh, in the last three majors in the last three to four years. So he's a pain to uh, uh, Federer, too, just as just as much of a just as much uh, of a pain in the ass to Federer as he is to the Dow. Well, you know, well, the reason I say that he's a more of a pain in the ass to the Dow is because Federer already got 20 majors. Uh, he's probably going to retire quicker than the Dow. And uh, Federer is like, he sort of already got his. Not saying Federer ain't going to win more. And not saying that uh, someone couldn't surpass Federer. But Federer, I mean, you know, he's he, he's reached that 20th mark. So, and it's really... And, and the Djokovic, I mean, I said this in a video about six months ago, that when I said, uh, the question was, who uh, uh, does, who did the Djokovic uh, hurt the most? Uh, uh, who, uh, in other words, who got hurt the most by the Djokovic's dominance? Was it Federer or was it Nadal? And I concluded, now some people disagree with me, but I think I sort of convinced them that it was it was, it was was the Dow that was hurting the most. And the reason why is because Federer still got the 20. Now, and I know the Djokovic got hurt, but at the end of the day, Federer still got the 20 and the Dow hasn't gotten the 20 yet. He's still three away, not saying he can't get there, but Federer, some way or another, he still got to the 20. He still got the 20th major, okay? And um, and another thing is, uh, it's just, um, it's the Djokovic. Uh, another reason why the Djokovic is a bigger pain in the ass of the Dow than Federer is that uh, the Djokovic is the one that's per that pretty well stopped. Nadal from reaching Federer. Believe me, if Nadal would have been able to beat the Djokovic more in the uh doing doing his peak and the Djokovic peak during their rivalry, Nadal will have would have had 20 or more majors now. So y'all see what I'm saying. Okay. But yeah, let me get back to this here. Yeah, uh, but yes, the, the Djokovic is a pain in the ass to yeah, he's a more of a pain in the ass to Nadal, but he's a pain in the ass to Nadal and Federer. He's a pain in the ass to Federer fame to Nadal fans and uh, you better believe it man the worst thing you know the Djokovic is like a cancer to Nadal too like a disease let me tell you why the worst thing than having a the worst thing than having like cancer is to the worst thing than having like cancer is to have cancer to come back again see uh, the uh, uh, the Dow had gotten rid of the Djokovic just by virtue of the Djokovic laying off being hurt and but the Djokovic the way he beat Nadal in the Wimbledon of the semi-final people he picked up where he left uh, he picked off picked up where he left off I mean doing the same thing going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nadal comfortably staying a, le a half a level uh, above the Dow at least enough to beat him uh, being able to stay in short rallies medium rallies long rallies with Nadal so this the Djokovic is right back a nuisance to Nadal uh, we're gonna we're gonna find out how big of a nuisance he'll be to Federer We'll find that out. But we we already saw he's a nuisance to Nadal already. He 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 took the Wimbledon title from Nadal. Uh, literally, Nadal would have beaten Kevin Anderson. If Nadal would have beaten the Djokovic, he would have beaten Kevin Anderson, probably in straight sets, four sets at the most. And I'm for sure about that. Everybody probably would agree with that. Nadal would have beaten Kevin Anderson. So we can we can truthfully say that the Djokovic, he just didn't beat Nadal. 
He took the Wimbledon title from Nadal. He that would have been Nadal's 18th major. He, Nadal, y'all get what I'm saying? I'm telling you, the Djokovic is a pain in the ass to Nadal. This is a thorn in Nadal's foot. This the this this resurgence, super high level. The Djokovic is right back to his regular business of keeping Nadal from reaching Federer. Fe Nadal would have had 18 majors. Nadal would have had his third Wimbledon had it not been for that high level, super level, annoying the Djokovic. That's what Nadal, like Nadal said, uh, Nadal said it, man, back in his peak that the Djokovic is the toughest guy he's ever played. But yeah, let me get back to the, it ain't even a question, it's a statement. The Djokovic is a pain in the ass. To, I know I said Federer too, but more Nadal. Believe me, Nadal fans know this, and they are praying that, that the Djokovic super level is not sustained and last and, and, and hopefully they are praying and hoping that that high level the Djokovic super level doesn't last for many months and for a year and for uh, for a few years to come. Believe me, the Dow fans know this. The Djokovic is a pain in the ass to Nadal and to Federer too, but more to Nadal. Tennis preacher, tennis prophet, tennis psychic. Signing off. Have a good one.